All right, guys, I wanted to show you how Henson catches these foals. Um, sometimes we'll leave a halter on and just let it drag on the ground and we'll kind of just step on the halter and grab them that way. But this one has no halter at all. And it was in the pen over here with these other two. Henson brought them in the alley here um, by itself. And let's just kind of watch and see what he does. Over five, not more than ten. Yeah. Some of these others that this one got been caught the most out of everything here. Okay, so that was fairly easy. Yeah. Was, so he's kind of getting used to it, just standing there when I approach him. He'll some see these others. They'll, they'll be all move around quite a bit. Be all over. <laughs> yeah. He kind of figured out that it's just not too bad. It's nice to stand there. Okay, so you got two, four more to catch? Yeah, there's two, and there's two more over here. I'll separate them out just like I did this one. Okay. Catch them one by one. Catch them one by one and tie them up. And this is just because he has a little bit of extra time this evening. Um, he's not one to go inside and just go watch Yellowstone or something. <laughs> He's going to take advantage of all the daylight and um, teach these guys a little something every, every chance he gets. Okay, so we have that one separated off. Now I'm gonna take it down into a smaller area. Get it slowed down because it'll just run back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So he doesn't want the colt to be able to use this whole alleyway. He's gonna have him go down to the other side where he can pin and him. I got the stick to smack him when he doesn't listen. There would be actually better if you separated him off because now he's just thinking about a friend. But you'll see after a bit, he'll kind of pay attention to me. I'll rub him with this stick. Now if it was my hand, I'd get maybe too close. Maybe he'd kick me. But with the stick, I can kind of stretch out, touch him. And he'll figure out that it's not too bad of me getting stuff touching him or me touching him. Touching him, but 
I can't just go up and touch it. You always touch it with this tip. Kind of like when you go on a date and you want to touch the set girl. And your girl might back away too. So you gotta... Give her some space. Give her some space. <laughs> Pretty soon, you'll be. Uh, I'll be touching this. this sucker all over. can hear him he said for some reason he's more comfortable down on that other side of the alley instead of right right over here I'm not just gonna throw this halter on or try to put it on and she, he just jumped away so I gotta get him to trust me I gotta rub him a bunch even get closer it's like if you're gonna try to kiss that girl I mean you wouldn't just go for a kiss because it wouldn't work you'd have to get you know, dancing with her first. Get her closer. <laughs> See how close I am? Can you back off? So when you go on a date, you just take a stick and you get closer to your girl, you rub her with it, and then eventually you <laughs> touch her. But I won't mess around too long. Cause I, my whole purpose was to put this on. right with them. Yeah, just stay. Now if he's bigger, he just drags you around. You know, too small. If he's he, bigger, I wouldn't try to do like that either. Yeah, he's a little big. But yeah, those horses that are a year old, two years old, I don't just try to put it on. They, I have to teach them to stand there and to accept it. Kind of force it on them. I'm out. This one, he kind of already wants to face you and um, 
um, I don't know, he's a real thinker, I guess. He, he, he run away, but he kind of doesn't want to. So, since I know that, I'm going to work with him to make him stand there. Kind of like I would like a, a yearling or two-year-old. And I'm not going to use a stick. He's been caught maybe three, four mm, times? Yeah, two. same as the other one. But I just know how kind of how he is. Okay. So Okay, so this fall is different. He's going to approach this fall differently. Just, just because of how he's acted or how he's caught in the past. I could use a stick and just rub him and eventually get up to him. But I think he's one that will Figure out that he can face me and let me rub his head. You just put the halter on. He's real fast. Okay, so same thing. Bring him down in this smaller area and work him in here. Lincoln, no. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna toss this halter out him when his butt's away from me. And he's gonna figure out when he does that. Henson doesn't want his butt toward him. He wants his head toward him. So when that butt when that butt goes toward Henson, he's like, nope. And then he'll throw the halter toward him. And eventually his head will come around just like, like that. Henson says he's very smart. Smart and scary. He's smart and scary. He moves fast. He's pretty boogery. Yeah, they all got boogery when we leaned them off. It's cold at night. Pretty, yeah, he knows. All right, if I stay with this guy, I'll be all right. kind of knew that he was already a horse that really pay attention and then I could get him just to kind of walk up to me face me and get caught like that that's how eventually I, I'd want them all to catch me if I could tell he was kind of ready for it but he wouldn't be ready for this <laughs> now, he caught pretty good but this will I can't touch him probably only his head and But same thing as with the stick. This will just get it get 
take me to where I could touch him all over. And I'll just let him move around and around. Thinking. So if we just went to try to brush him, there's no way we could brush him. But, you know, me rubbing his rope on him will require him to be, to be brushed and touched all over. Now, he doesn't have to go nowhere. But if he wants to, you know, I don't make, I don't try to really hold him. I just make it work. Just kind of roll his hip around. Let him stop. Rub him some more. helps him to lead if you and if he didn't lead I could start rubbing him all over and he would go forward and I could just kind of manipulate his feet kind of put pressure and he roll his hind in or bring his front around so instead of standing there trying to fight him to lead him you can do this and they'll eventually they'll start leading after this you just rub them and let them move their feet and you just Put that foot wherever you want. Alright, that was good. Okay, we'll separate these off too. Okay, two more. going. I could probably just walk up to him, crowd him, and put it on. He won't even run around, probably. Or I could teach him to do like that other horse to come up to me. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to catch him. Just going to crowd him up. Times been caught, maybe five, maybe.
helps when you have somebody from behind to push them forward. Yeah, just for the sake of time. <laughs> He's not all easy going just because of who his daddy is. It's because this bay has the same dad. These guys have the same dad. One's pretty easy going and which is this one. We'll see what this one's like in a second. She's real fast too. There a while ago, I think that real good. Let me see if it'll happen again. So that other one was comfortable way down over there by the gate. This yeah. one is comfortable right here, so Henson's gonna work it where it's comfortable and relaxed. They're real nice right there, and I like this. I really like moving by my head. I think that's why rubbing that forehead at first is so important. It, it takes that issue out, I think. Where they're not afraid and they don't swoop like when you grab it and stuff. 
Yeah. It's weird how it calms them down. Yeah. Once they do, they there's a lot of trust there because that's a real sensitive spot for them. If she's getting more comfortable, not in the perfect. She's probably the most head shy. Yeah. And he doesn't mind you touching his head, he'd rather you touch, touch his head. Touch your head than anything. Yeah. Everywhere else I like, don't touch me. to be heightened by her little half sister. Is it are they both Phillies? No, that's a close. Oh. Half brother. <coughs> Sometimes when you go on your date you gotta keep take a friend along just so the date's more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Makes your Okay, so these guys will just stay tied for like 30 minutes or so and we'll start feeding and put them back in their pen. Just work with them a little bit every time until they get picked up. Well that's pretty much what I'll do. You could do that for a week or two or you can keep on doing it until they're a year old, two years old. And they'll just get calmer and gentler and gentler. Uh, we usually don't do it too long. We just kind of get them where they catch pretty decent, lead around, and we just turn them out. So this one's ours. We bought this horse for my dad. So I'm, we, we won't do too much to her probably. Just get her where I can pick up her feet, where she catches pretty good, and where she... I can rub her all over and brush her. So if I do that tomorrow and keep on doing it throughout the week, you'll see that there'll be a change where she's just pretty mellow. And then she gets turned out until she's ready to be started. Yeah, we won't. I don't work them too hard, too much. I'll sometimes put them in a the round pin and teach them to face you, but not necessarily. I'll just wait till they're two. But you could. 
But these yearlings can jump, or these, these weanlings, they'll jump out of the round pin pretty easy. <laughs> the round pin's big. It's 50, 60 foot, I don't know. They get going pretty fast, they'll just hop right over. Yeah, pretty easy. Okay.